start the shake application on the iPhone or iTouch. This is a list of the 27 earthquakes that occurred worldwide during the last 24 hours. Optionally, we could have gotten the earthquakes that occurred during the last seven days. We'll show that later. For each earthquake, the first item is magnitude. It's color-coded. The next item is the earthquake location in text. There's also a globe icon that marks the location of the earthquake. The day and time of the earthquake occurrence in local time. The distance the earthquake is away from your iPhone or iTouch in kilometers or miles. You can sort the earth earthquake list by time, which is the current order or by magnitude, or by distance from your phone with the closest earthquakes listed first, or sorted in alphabetical order based on the location text. Now we'll drill down to the details of a specific earthquake. Central California. Magnitude color coded with the background color of the screen. Again, we've got the distance from the phone, the location in latitude and longitude, the depth of the earthquake. Um, the full date and time of the earthquake in your local time and also in the time at the epicenter. Now we'll go to a Google map showing the location of the earthquake. Here's, here's the earthquake location marker, again color coded for magnitude. We can switch from street view, which it's currently in, to satellite view satellite view back to street view. We can you can center the map at your phone location. In this case it's San Francisco. We can switch back to the earthquake location. You can pan the map by dragging. You can zoom in out. You can zoom back in. Let's center it on the earthquake. Zoom in some more. Very close. You can go to satellite view again. Let's go back to the details page. You can also look at the USG uh, web page for this earthquake. You can zoom in and out using two fingers. You can pan the page by dragging. You can go to other links, uh, other linked page pages. Zoom in and out again. They're backwards and forward buttons. Let's go back. Uh, from the main shake list screen, you can also see a map with all the current earthquakes marked. Let's go to map all. You can zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. And there's satellite view, street view, 
can pan the map. You can also center the map with the phone location, which is this orange marker. Let's go back. Finally, information. There's a link uh, to help for Shake. There's also a link to the main USG uh, earthquake website. Tap done to go back. We'll, and now we'll see the sh Shake user settings options. Shake options are set using the standard procedure. First, exit Shake. Open settings. Select Shake from the list. Let's first change the data source. We're currently set to the last 24 hours. Let's set it to the last seven days. Here's seven days. We're not going to translate, translate the locations. That's used if you're in a location other than English and want the earthquake location text translated automatically. Now let's enable the earthquake filter. Let's set the filter so we only see earthquakes of magnitude of 5 or higher. We could also set, set it to filter based on how far the earthquake is away from your phone, but we're not going to do that this time. Um, the last setting is the map initial zoom option. It simply specifies the zoom level when maps are initially displayed. Let's leave it at level 6. Now we'll go back to uh, go back and start shake with our new settings. There were 26 earthquakes during the last seven days whose magnitudes were five or higher above. Notice that they're all five or higher. The color coding is red for five or higher. And that's it.